Hi there and welcome to your yoga class. Today we're doing Room on the Broom, a wonderful book by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. But first we need to sing our song, don't we? So let's pat our hands on our knees and sing our song. You can just pat your hands if you don't know the words, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. Say hello and namaste, time for fun and yoga play. Am I ready? Yes, I am sitting on my mat. Well done. I could hear you from here. Yes, I could now. We need to get our little friend out now. What is his name? His name is Om. That's right. So after three, let's shout on him. One, two, three. Om. Lovely. Let's see what he's up to today. Oh, yes. Here he is, all ready to go. He loves this story. Oh, yes, he does, because there's a dog in it. Yes, there's a dog in it, and there's lots of animals in it. Oh, yes, indeed. But they talk about chips in this as well, and Om loves chips, doesn't he? Yes, he'd anything to do with food, Om loves. So he's going to sit on his mat and watch our little yoga class. So we're going to sit down and say our magic yoga word now, which is... Namaste. So after three, one, two, three, namaste. Wonderful. So let's get on with our story. And of course, there's a witch mm -hmm, and a broomstick mm -hmm, and a cat. So for first of all, we're going to do broomstick pose. So let's come on to our fronts like this. Stretch out our hands and lift our hands and feet up in broomstick pose. That's right. And we have to do cat pose as well. So we come up onto our hands and knees, push our back right up to ceiling and go meow, meow. Lovely. So the witch had the cat and she had a very tall hat up on your knees and do a nice witch's hat pose. That's it. And long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. That's right and they flew on their broomstick everywhere. That's right. Let's fly above the sky on our broomstick. So you can put one foot back, hands out to the side, or you can lift your foot up and fly through the air. That's right, try the other side as well. Hands out to the side, and you can still have your foot on the floor if you want, or lift your foot right up. And they had great fun flying about, all over the place, that's it. Looking down and waving at people. So let's bend over and wave at people from your broomstick. That's right. And they're having such a wonderful time. But the wind was blowing so wildly today. Yes, it was. Let's put your feet apart, make some wind. Can you feel that? Below your fingertips. The wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch. So we need to forward fold comes in down cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for no hat but no hat could be found let's turn our heads side to side oh no but wait a minute from out of the bushes on thundering paws came a lovely big dog with a hat in his jaws that's right and he dropped it let's come and put your head on the mat that's it dropped it in front of the witch and he said, there's your hat. Could I possibly join you on your broom? And the witch thought for a moment and she said, mm, yes, there's plenty of room. So the dog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick. So we're going to sit in our bottoms. We're going to tap, tap, tap with our feet and whoosh, they were gone. That's it. So now we've got the witch on the broomstick and her cat and now the dog. And she got her hat back as well, which is wonderful. So over the reeds and the rivers, they flew. That's it. The cat was meowing. The dog was barking. Uh -huh. But what do you think the witch lost next? What do you think? The bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch. So let's... Come over, touch the floor, and they searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of the trees, with an ear-splitting shriek, 
there came a beautiful bird with the bow in her beak. So we're going to do a lovely beautiful bird flow, flying out of all the trees. So come down on your knees and we're going to breathe in and come up and breathe out. That's it. Breathe in and breathe out and breathe in. Lovely. And breathe out. And she dropped the bow very politely and said, um, I found your bow for you. Is there room in your broom for a bird like me? The witch thought for a minute and said, yes, she said, and the bird fluttered on. Let's do a little flutter. The witch tapped the broomstick, remember? <gasps> tap, 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 and whoosh! They were gone. <gasps> oh, they were having such a, the broomstick was getting pretty heavy by now because there was the dog, the cat, and the bird, and the witch as well. And all of a sudden, she was holding on to her bow so tightly, she let go of her wand. That's right, her magic wand. Oh no, down, cried the witch. Remember how we do down? We stand up and we bend. Oh, you can bend your knees a little bit if you want. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then with a bit of a croak, uh-huh, what came out? With her wand, it was a frog. The frog had found it in a bit of a pond and the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. But we need to be a frog first. Come up on your feet, put your hands in between and you can stay here if you want or go ribbit, 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 that's it. And he said, oh, since I found your wand for you, could I come on your broom? And the witch thought for a minute, hmm, yes, she said, and the frog hopped in on, and the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. <gasps> so, we have quite a lot of people on this broom now, don't we? Yes, we've got the witch, the cat, the dog, the bird. What else have we got? We've got the frog as well, and it was bending. It was a wee bit heavy. Then all of a sudden it snapped. So let's lie down, feet up in the air, and snap your broom in two. That's it, so feet together, and then out. Oh no, down. They all, cat and the dog and the frog, they all tumbled to the ground. So we're gonna do some tumbling. Sit on your bottom and you can hold on to your knees or the back of your knees and you're gonna roll back and roll back up just like a tumble. Down they went tumbling into a big, thick, sticky bog. Poor cat, dog and frog, that's it. So we're in a big sticky bog now. So we're gonna go Oh dear, poor animals. And the witch flew into a cloud because she only had half a broomstick, remember? And there she heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no, what do you think it is? Come down on one knee with one foot in front of you, just like this. Put your thumbs together and have some spiky hair. And now you've got dragon hair and we'll go Rawr! That's it. Now let's do the other foot. Keep your hands up there. Rawr! Oh, and the dragon came up to the witch and he started to lick his lips. Mm. Oh, he said, oh, a wee witchy. Oh, I'm really, really hungry. Oh, ah. and do you know what I was going to have for my tea? And the witch said, what were you going to have for your tea? And he said, oh, I think I'm going to have some witch and some chips. <gasps> so the poor witch, oh no, she's going to get eaten by the big dragon. But all of a sudden, from the bog, rose a dark and dangerous beast. It was feathered, it was sticky, it was furry and it had a growl and a yow and a croak and a streak. What a beast. Let's all rise out the bog like a big beast. That's it. Ooh, and the dragon's getting a bit scared now. And it came up to the dragon and said, Buzz off, that's my witch. <gasps> the dragon drew back. Oh, put your hands up and started to shake. Can you shake? 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a wee mistake. Oh, oh, was that the time? Oh, I must fly. And off he shot back through the sky. So let's stand and bend forward and we'll do big dragon wings this time. And he's going super fast because he doesn't want to be eaten by this big, big sticky feathered furred. Big beastie, does he? Oh, so we know who the beast is, don't we? We know it's not a beast. We know it's just the cat, the dog, the frog and the bird helping the witch. So down jumped the dog and down jumped the cat and down jumped the frog and the bird fluttered over and the witch was so grateful. She crossed her legs, put her hands to her heart and said, Namaste, my lovely friends. So they didn't have a broomstick though, did they? So they got the big cauldron out. So let's get the big cauldron out. And the witch said, find something everyone, throw something in. So they all went and found something to put in to the cauldron. So let's put it all in. Let's stir it all up, that's it. And the witch uttered, let's go the other way, her magic words, eggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom, and out rose a truly magnificent broom. <gasps> and this was a broom that was absolutely amazing because it had seats in it. It did add seats for the cat and the dog and the witch as well. So let's stand up and pretend we're sitting on a seat. That's it. It had seats for the cat and the dog and the witch. That's right. And it had a shower for the frog. So let's pitter patters if we're having a shower. That's it. And the bird fluttered on. Let's do nice big wings. What a fantastic broom. That's it. And it also, what did, where did the, the, um, the bird sit? Can't just sit on the broom. It had a nest of its own. So let's sit on our bottoms, feet together, and make a nest of our own. And you can lean forward if you want, be a wee bit more stretchy. And they were all so happy that the witch tapped the broomstick, tap, 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 and whoosh! They were gone. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Well done for helping to save the witch. Wasn't that good teamwork? So let's all lie down and we're going to pretend we're flying through the sky. Lie down on your backs, nice and comfy. And we're just going to have a lovely relaxation lying here on our backs. Up in the sky at night with stars twinkling nice and gently beside us and the moon glowing nice and softly we can look down and see everyone on the earth below us but we are floating on our broomsticks so light as light as a feather up above the clouds with all our friends on the broomstick and we can leave our worries behind down on the ground so just feel how nice and cosy it is. And you can come up to the sky in your mind any time that you need to. And just relax. So we're going to start wriggling our fingers and our toes now. And rolling on to our side when we've got a little minute. And then slowly sitting back up. That's it. So sitting with your legs crossed and your hands at your heart and then we're going to say Namaste. So one, two, three. Namaste. Let's see what Om thought of all this. Oh, I think he enjoyed this. Om, what was that? Oh, he said he was a bit scared when that dragon came out, but he was glad that all the friends helped the witch. So Om and I will see you again next time. See you later.